Hi, I'm Drake here from You Can Seek Your Racing. Today I'm going to show you how I calculate my run time and also tell you about a new product from Flashpoint. Um, it's basically just a 60cc syringe. Um, so while I'm at the track, um, you know, before a qualifier, you always make sure your tank is full and topped off before you start the qualifier. And then I usually try to have a stopwatch around my neck or have my pit guy with a stopwatch. So for a buggy, the fuel tank capacity is 125 cc's. For a truck and a GT, it's 150 cc's. So what I'll do is make sure that the tank is full before I go out for my qualifier. When I leave pit lane, I'll go ahead and start the stopwatch and time my entire run. So from the time I leave pit lane till the time I come in, that way it'll give me a total time and I can calculate uh, basically what my fuel mileage is uh, for each tank. So I'm going to simulate that right now. I have my stopwatch here showing that I ran 6 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, so basically a 5 minute qualifier plus your out lap and then your, your lap after the 5 minute clock and your in lap. So from there you just take your car and what you want to do is see how many cc's of fuel uh, is remaining in the tank. So you can just use your syringe from Flashpoint, take and draw all the fuel out of the tank. You'll just want to take the front of the car and lift it up so it draws all the fuel out of the tank. And then go ahead and check how many cc's you have remaining. So you'll want the fuel to come all the way to the top line. And then what I have here is 58 cc's remaining. So first I'll go ahead and put the fuel back into the tank. And then I have my notes here. So again, my buggy tank capacity is 125 cc's. My total run time was 6 minutes and 33 seconds. So that means I used 67 cc's uh, during that 393 seconds. So basically what that equals out to, and you can go ahead and calculate this on, you know, with a calculator on your phone, um, you'll take your total run time and the number of seconds, so like I said, 393 seconds, divided by the number of cc's which I used, which was 67, and that will give me a number of 5.87. So 5.87 seconds is what I can drive my car per cc of fuel. So again, the tank has 125 cc's. So I'll take that 5.87, multiply it by 125, which is a full tank, and that gives me 733 0.21 seconds, which equals out to 12 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, there's also an app that you can use, um, so you don't have to calculate it all yourself. Um, it's called Pit Buddy. I think you can get it for a dollar. Um, you can download it. Um, but basically, this syringe is is used. Um, you know, have it in your box and to use during practice sessions or uh, during each qualifier. That way, you can calculate your runtime. Uh, depending on the changing track conditions. So going into the final, you know exactly what you can kind of use as a pit strategy. I always like to make sure that, say if I can go 12 minutes and 12 seconds, like what I just calculated here, I would say that's then where I can safely pit at 10 minutes. I like to give myself at least a minute and a half um, kind of leeway. That way if you don't hear your pit guy and you have to do an extra lap, um, you know, you're not stressing or worried about if you're going to make it. So I like to have at least 90 seconds of, of a cushion.